This video is about object styles, and object styles act the same way as paragraph and character styles. So, we're going to see if we can attempt to make this type of box into an object style. So, for example, this might be underneath each image a little box with some text, and the text would be inset enough to get it off the frame. So this is all done through the menu. I put a two-point cyan stroke on it and a yellow fill on it and I went to object text frame options. I put some inset spacing here and I vertically centered this and I also made this text. I don't know if I made this anything. Right now it's Minion Pro. That is the default. So I'm going to attempt to make this an object style. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a paragraph style. So I'm going to deselect everything here, deselect this, and do a new paragraph style. I'm going to call this caption style. I'll just call it caption. And I'm going to say that I want Times New Roman. And captions are usually a little smaller, so I'll make it 10 points, regular, and I'll say OK. So we now have a caption paragraph style. And so I'll close that up. And now I'm going to do an object style. So I'll click off everything, make a new object style, and the object style that I want is going to have a yellow fill. So I've put that in. I could play with the tint here if I wanted, but I won't. I'm going to make a cyan stroke and I want it to be two points. I'll just browse through here. So you can see that we've used this corner when we made our recipes. I could use a fancy corner, but I'm not going to. I'm going to come here, paragraph styles, and say that I want to use the caption paragraph style for my text which will turn it into the Times New Roman. A text frame, general options. Right here is where I can put some inset spacing and say that I want my text to be vertically centered in the text box. Uh, I can also come to the wrap and say that should this caption be over a text frame that the text needs to wrap around it. So I'm going to say wrap around the bounding box and I might put a little offset there too. And I think that's okay. Although at some point I'd like to see if this would make these uh, always what I want is fit the frame to the content, uh, but I'm going to leave it at none because I'm not exactly sure if that will, will work. And I could even add a drop shadow. So I'm going to say OK. I haven't named it, so I better name this style. This style is going to be the caption style, so I'll say OK. You can see I have a caption style now. So I'm going to make a rectangle here. Now that happens to be the last fill and stroke I use, so by default it's given me that. But I'm going to send it back to uh, the default here. And I'm going to click here. And <laughs> put this in, 
So actually it's taken the caption and I'm going to over. Let me try this again. Deselect caption, deselect everything, make a box. You know, it automatically seems to know that it wants to do that, but I'm going to say none just for our example. And here's the next caption. And then this is selected. Then I'm going to apply this to it. And you can see that it applied everything except what I don't see, what I thought I did, was the drop shadow. So I'm taking that off, putting that on. Okay, I do have it this time. I'll say OK. And I would double click here and that would uh, format to this to the exact size. So on the next, let's say, five pages of the document, every time I do a caption, I can apply it and have the exact same format. If I want to change the format, I can edit my object style by double clicking. And let's say that we want to change this. Well, we'll change the stroke just back to black and back to one point. And that means that every instance of that this caption style has been applied to a text box underneath an image, it is all going to update every single one of them in one go. Now let's say that I have, I'm going to make another one here. Okay, so if I had a whole number of these through the whole document, and for some reason I need to change just one, I can do an override on this. I want to see if I can take this effect off, take the drop shadow off. And undo it and say OK. So when I click on this object, you can see that it has the caption style applied to it. When I click on this object, you can see it has the caption style applied to it. But that little plus sign indicates that I did an override. I changed something. It says the drop shadow. Alt and it tells me what it is and it says, hey, if you want to clear this override off, just press and hold Alt and click on this and that will clear the override. Uh, and just so you know, this can also be made by example. So I'm going to click off of there, make another box. It wants to apply that, so I need to actually say none. And this time I'm going to put some text in here. And I'm going to make this fill green with a navy stroke. I'm also going to come to our frame options. I'm going to center this vertically. I'm going to put some inset spacing. I am going to center this and at this point if I have this chosen I can say, okay, this is exactly what I want a style to look like. So I can come and make the style 
from this point, say new object style, this one, let me move my page over. Okay, new object style. This one here is going to be a green text box. And you can see that because I had it selected, it knew to take the green fill. It also knew to go and get the navy um, stroke here. So it picks up what you have done in there and already applies it all into your specifications over here. So the first way that we, so I'll say OK. That will show up here, green text box. So two ways to do it, just like paragraph style and character style. You can do the style first, like we did with the caption, and then apply it after. Or you can set it up first and then make the style, which will carry over all the formatting into the style. Okay, so practice what you learned by doing the following. Open this file off the O, 204 handout, in the Nancy InDesign additional folder. It will be sitting there. That's where I will save it. I will call it Object Styles. I have taken away the Object Styles out of the file. And what I want you to do is put a little text box underneath each of these as instructed here. So under column one will be a box with a yellow fill, a red stroke, make the text centered vertically and horizontal, make it Times New Roman. So remember you have to do a paragraph style first for Times New Roman, 10 points, and then put it into the object styles when you do that one and call the style column one. And below here, for these four pictures, put the caption with a text box that looks like this. And each of these text boxes will have the column two object style on it.